Fentanyl related death of a major league pitcher in North Texas led to a 22 year prison sentence today for the man who provided the deadly pills. Former Angels employee Eric Kay was sentenced to federal court today connected to the death of Tyler Skaggs. Jason Allen was in the courtroom and is live this afternoon in Fort Worth with more on the story. Jason. Ken, this was an emotional sentencing and one that the judge here today even said that he had been dreading. It comes at a time when concern over the spread of fentanyl across the nation is growing, and that is something that even the Skaggs family addressed in a statement today after the sentence. Eric Kay, who was seen here in video that was shot during the trial here back in February, he appeared in court today much slimmer, handcuffs on, wearing orange, his head shaved. The jury convicted him in February of providing counterfeit oxycodone to Skaggs that turned out to contain fentanyl. The young pitcher was found dead in his South Lake hotel room before the team was supposed to play the Texas Rangers. And prosecutors suggested again today that only Kay knows if there might have been a chance to save him that night. The judge expressed some disagreement with the minimum sentence of 20 years in this case, but in court, prosecutors today revealed that there were recorded phone calls and emails that Kay had sent since he had been in prison after he was convicted. He called the jury sloppy, toothless rednecks. He cussed out Skaggs. He called his family trash, and he called his wife dumb. Now, Kay spoke and expressed regret, saying that was all out of anger, but the judge said it showed to him a lack of remorse and a lack of responsibility, and because of that, he added two years to that minimum sentence. Skaggs' family released this statement today after the sentencing. The real issue in this case is holding accountable the people who are distributing the deadly drug fentanyl. It is killing tens of thousands of people every year in our country and destroying families along with it. We will continue the fight to hold responsible those who allowed Kay to provide a deadly drug to Tyler. That appears to be a reference, Ken and Karen, there to a continuing wrongful death civil lawsuit that the family now continues to pursue against the Angels. All right, Jason Allen, thank you very much.